What up guys, I'm back with another video. We're gonna read the latest version of Blue Stacks real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run Blue Stacks Easy. Blue Stacks Easy is a software that we're going to use to root Blue Stacks. I'm using the dark skin of it, so if it looks weird, obviously it is weird, but 0 0.10.0.4321 0 .4 is the version that we're gonna be rooting. We can run a compatibility check real quick. And done. Um, so I can run it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click auto detect install blue stacks, click KitKat signature rooting method two, which is the clockwork mod super user, or you can use method three, which is exactly the same thing, it's just a different um, super user. But um we're gonna use um, clockwork mods because it works for all processors. So AMD and Intel is supported on clockwork mods we're gonna use the unsquashed system so and then we click proceed so what is it gonna do is that it's gonna close all existing processes of blue stacks and then it's going to prepare to root it so it might look a lot different from the multi tool that you used BS multi tool that you used to use but this is actually the most effective method of rooting blue stacks number one effective method we click run anyway it's surprising that even popped up um, usually it doesn't so you can see C BIOS as you can see it basically loads up a virtual um, machine but it's very very small and only has one purpose and that is to be rooting blue stacks that's really it all it does it has its own console so it's putting in all the commands for you you basically don't touch anything you just let it do its thing um, it's been created by X T R R R A A R X whatever X tar X whatever <laughs> this name is confusing I'm sorry but um it's gonna automatically start up blue stacks to see whether or not if it's actually successfully rooted it's also gonna have a couple of apps already installed that you would probably want which is um I believe it's in here these ones treacher butch ss settings provisions legacy camera and cm file manager so those are the apps that it basically installed you can download this file it'll be called um Blue stacks root kit. You can download that, which is exactly what this is. In the description bar. Click always, click OK, click OK. And we're not gonna set up the um, blue stacks yet because we already we already basically already set it up. So all we gotta do. Is that we can just click OK, straight to root check. Check now, and there you go. It's been rooted. Just give it a second to confirm. There you go. It's been rooted. Successfully rooted blue stacks. So, um, if you guys want more tutorials like this, please leave a comment, and I will gladly make more. Um, but this is how you successfully root blue stacks. Oh my God! Fake GPS. What is this? Right in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> but anyways, I'll show you guys later. Hopefully this was very useful. And if you want to increase your storage, I can teach you really quick how to do that. To increase the um, file system storage, you basically create put this to 32, put this to 32. Create both files as spar cefs, and then okay, so. And if you want to increase the RAM, you can go here and you can increase the amount of RAM it uses too. That's also an option too. We go straight to the output folder. That's not the output folder. This is output. Copy these two files. Make sure BlueStacks is not running. Let that disappear. All right, there we go. Go all the way down here. Program data. BlueStacks. Android. Paste it here. And when you relaunch up, we replace the files too but once you launch up back launch back up your um, blue stacks 
it's going to be set with those with 32 gigabytes of storage. So if that was very helpful, catch you guys on the next one. See you guys later.